How do chemotherapy drugs work? Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Have you ever wondered how chemotherapy drugs kill cancer cells? And they also kill healthy cells as well, as you likely know. Anyway, I explain it all in a review article that you can read by just sort of clicking below this uh, video. And you'll see my article there called, Did You Ever Wonder How Chemotherapy Drugs Work? A Practical Guide for Complementary Healthcare Practitioners. In the article explains how different classes of chemotherapy drugs work in different phases of what's called the cell cycle. So when cancer cells divide, you know, cancer cells are on a mission to keep dividing. But in order to divide, they have to go through the same sequence as the healthy cells do when they try to divide. And so there are five uh, phases within what's called the cell cycle. And chemo drugs often work in specific phases of that cell cycle to stop the cell from dividing or to sort of create events that will get the cancer cell to commit suicide or die. So those five stages, to make a long story short, is there's, there's the, G, the, the G0 phase where the cell is not dividing. And some cancer drugs actually work and they're, they're what are called uh, non-cell cycle specific. They actually can sit inside that cell that's not dividing and wait for it to start dividing and then try to kill it. So the, G, the G0 phase occurs when the cell is not dividing. Then there's the G1 phase. It's when the cell is now committed to dividing. So it starts to duplicate a bunch of enzymes that it's going to need for cell division. And then from the G1 phase, it goes into the S phase. And that's where the, the DNA, your genetic material, actually opens up and, build and, and starts to double its template. You have to make some new DNA. And some cancer drugs, like alkylating agents, will sort of bind to the DNA. As it, as it unravels, it'll bind to it so it can't form a complementary DNA strand. And then after the G1 phase is done, cells go into the G2 phase. That's sort of a checkpoint phase where the, where the cell stops and takes a look to see, did I duplicate my DNA perfectly? Now in a healthy cell, if that didn't happen, then it'll try to fix the mistake if, it's, if it can. And in cancer cells, they do the same. They want to make sure that they can keep replicating their DNA so they can keep making new cells in the future. And then the final phase is known as the M phase, and that's where everything's been replicated within a cell which is now swollen, and now you have what's called the M phase, or the mitotic phase, where the, where the one cell divides into two daughter cells, and now you have two completely formed cancer cells. So there are chemotherapy drugs that uh, uh, that are common ones like anthracyclines. Anthracyclines are actually antibiotics. The same way that antibiotics can inhibit the replication of bacteria, they can also target certain events in the cancer cell to stop those cells from being able to divide or to kill them off. Amazing. Then there's alkylating agents, which I talked to you about, that can sort of, you know, attach to certain enzymes or to the DNA in the cell and stop it from doing what it needs to do for the cell to divide. And then there are anti-metabolites. These are compounds that look like something the cell actually needs in order to make its DNA or, or to fit into an enzyme so it can help with DNA replication, as an example. But it's a compound that when it, when it tries to use that compound, it doesn't quite work, it doesn't quite fit. So drugs like 5-fluoracil and methotrexate are common types of drugs that are called anti-metabolites. Then there are some targeted molecules that affect a specific enzyme or a specific receptor and block its action. So the drug Herceptin, which is now used for breast cancer patients who, who, who have a particular receptor on the cell surface that's driving cell division, you can, de you can destroy that receptor with a drug called Herceptin. So these are sort of targeted molecules. Anyway, it's all explained sort of in simple terms in the article that I wrote. So if you are on chemo drugs or have to go on chemo drugs or have, have ever been on chemo drugs, you should really click on the link below and read my article. It sort of explains how chemo drugs work in general, something that most people should have a handle on if they ever have to take them. Now remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, other teaching materials, footage from my live professional seminars, other videos and resources I've created to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research papers and teaching materials are complete with all scientific references at the end, so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you really should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.